What's up guys? Today's workout is a shoulder shock. We're gonna be targeting every single muscle around that shoulder joint. So there's four different supersets. In every superset, you're gonna have three different sets and the rep count's gonna change every time. Now what's optional is what you do between your sets. You can either take a rest for 30 to 45 seconds or you can do push-ups, kettlebell swings, and medicine ball slams in between your sets as your active rest period. So how I lined it up, I stayed with 10 reps for my active rest. After my first set of every exercise, I did 10 push-ups. After my second set, I did 10 medicine ball slams. And after my third set, I did 10 kettlebell swings. So for the video purposes, I'm just showing you them now. Uh, make sure you get your form right, and that's what you're going to be doing in between every uh, set if you choose to. So for those push-ups, make sure that you keep your elbows close by your body. You don't want to go too wide. We're focusing not just on our chest, but our shoulders and triceps as well. We really want to make sure that we engage that push when we come up and don't let our hips sag. We have to keep our body parallel. On the medicine ball slams, bring that ball all the way up over your head, slam it down like you're trying to break the ball. 10 reps from that, and then the kettlebell swings. We're going all the way up, have your arms come by your ears. All right, so those are the three active rest exercises. Getting started, our first superset, we have lateral raises along with the seated shoulder press. On those lateral raises, as you come back down, don't let the weight touch your legs. You wanna stop it short. We're using that muscle tension to engage our shoulders even while we're not actually lifting the weight. We have 12 reps for the lateral raises and then for our shoulder press, we're going heavy. Eight reps, drop down to that 90 degree, back up over your head again. Three sets, 12 reps for our lateral raises, moderate weight, and eight reps for our shoulder press, heavy weight. Superset number two, starting off with the heavy weight again, we have three sets of eight for our Arnold press, and then 15 alternating front raises. For those Arnold press, make sure that your wrists turn back facing toward you, come back out 90 degree angles, then press the dumbbell over your head. For our alternating front raises, same thing as the lateral raise. You don't wanna let that weight touch your body. So we're going one at a time, 15 reps each side. Choose a weight that you are comfortable with, not too heavy, not too light. Superset number three, start off heavy again. We have a military press and then we're going straight into a face pull. On that military press, bring your arms all the way up by your ears, come back down to your chin and then press it up again. We really want to flex those shoulders at the top of every rep. Same thing for our face pull. We're working more of our delts right here. So bring that rope all the way to your face and squeeze your shoulder blades together. You wanna to flex right at that back area as tight as you can. Last superset, we're staying with a moderate weight here for 10 reps of a seated wide press. So you're gonna start off with your wrists facing each other and as you press the dumbbells up, unlike a shoulder press or a military press, when you go straight up, we're coming out like making a Y. Back down, keep those arms at a 90 degree angle, press it outwards again into a Y. And then a moderate weight here again, we have reverse flies. 12 reps for that. So there we go, three sets of 10 and then three sets of 12. Those are our four different supersets that we have to unlock that shoulder growth. And again, the optional push-ups, medicine ball slams, and kettlebell swings. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Until then, deuces.